What's up guys, Hey King here, bringing you some well-known news at this point. So yeah, uh, update time. Ghost of Tsushima has moved from its June release date, I believe on the 26th was it? Or was it the 16th to uh, July now, the July the 17th, I believe, which is a... Uh, well, it's it's frankly it's it's annoying. Uh, but yeah, Ghost of Tsushima has been delayed to July 17th, and Last of Us 2 is now coming out on June the 19th. So um, Last of Us 2 is no longer delayed indefinitely, but uh, Ghost of Tsushima has been delayed by a month, and we all have Naughty Dog to blame for that, really. Uh, people are probably going to say, "Oh well, you know, they just moved the dates about. It was always going to come out then." No. No, maybe, maybe not. Uh, there, be, there are rumors and leaks at the moment that the game was actually going to come out in, in June. That was the next planned date. But I don't know the fact. The fact that the delaying Ghost of Tsushima for for Last of Us to take its place. You know, what I mean, it's a bit, it's a bit weird, funny at that. And also because of the leaks, because Last of Us Two has had leaks now, so that's come out. And uh, yeah, it's bad. Like uh, a lot of people are knowing the ending. We don't know what's going on. A disgruntled employee, apparently. We're not too sure what's going on there. Uh, there have been rumours that the work environments with Naughty Dog have not been very gracious. People, employees are not getting the due cut or pays. So yeah, there's a bit of a what is going on behind the scenes there. So in, in a way, one could argue that this is kind of like karma by them in the back, basically, when they got greedy and not releasing the game next month, when it was supposed to come out next month. Um, and yeah, we, we didn't really know the reason for that, what that, what that is. It, it, the excuse is it was because of the virus, but I find that to be such a contrived excuse when you consider the fact that uh, Resident Evil 3, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, uh, Doom, have all pretty much come out in the, uh, in, in pretty much this month. Uh, Resident Evil 3 in particular came out two weeks beforehand. It got it got it had a broken street date in various countries, and uh, Final Fantasy 7 in particular was actually pushed up a week earlier to be released in Europe. And yeah, the, their sales went they, they went fine. It went very fine. So the excuse that uh, that Naughty Dog was afraid that they wouldn't get the kinching. Uh, in terms of physical copies, apparently, by if they if they released it now, uh, it would like backfire on them, which is kind of ridiculous. I mean, if if people really want to buy your product and really want to play your product, right, then they're gonna they're gonna buy it digitally, right? So you've got nothing to worry about. I mean, like I said, look at Resident Evil Freeze and Final Fantasies and Doom sales. Like those games are kicking ass at the moment. So this whole reason of delaying the game. So they could wait for the virus to sort of pass by and, and, and they could ensure that they would sell a good large number of physical copies is is absurd in my opinion. And yeah, it, it's bitten them in the back. Their greediness has bitten them in the back. If that is if what we're hearing that's going on at their studios and how they're treating their employees is true. So yeah, it's it's karma. It's karma biting them back. Uh but yeah, that's that's the release date for Last of Us. I'm disappointed that I'm not gonna be able to play Ghost of Tsushima in, in June, but hey, I've got I've got enough games in my backlog to go through. I've got lots of games I need to plan. Um, I'm still currently playing through Final Fantasy VII on hard mode now, so you know I'm going to be spending my time on that. And then I've got a whole bunch of games I need to go back to and finish. So yeah, no worries for me really. Like it all works out in the end for everyone, I guess. You know, you're a gamer, you're going to get a game no matter what. It doesn't really matter what it's going to. You're going to get it and you're going to play. It. Simple as that. But yeah, that's the news for me, guys. I'm probably going to talk about the leaks regarding Last of Us 2 in a separate video. So yeah, um, be sure to look forward to that because that's going to be very controversial to say the least. Anyway, guys, hope you like this. And as always, like and subscribe, whatever. And I shall see you when I shall see you. Uh, technically speaking, good night.